the 1,600 year old iron pillar at the Qutub Minar archaeological complex is a testimony to the metallurgical skills of ancient Indians. This majestically designed pillar with amazing ornamentation, inscriptions and imagery of Chandragupta II stands at 7.2 meters or nearly 24 feet. It is made of pure, malleable iron. Its scale and its near pristine condition, even after 16 centuries, provides evidence that Indians had perfected the technique to weld malleable steel by the 4th century. But why is this important? Well, in this exclusive episode of Science for a Self-Reliant India, we look at how 1,600 years later, modern India is working to augment its steel production and thereby accelerate its economic expansion. Our country is already the second highest producer of steel and now a net exporter of finished steel products. The rate of demand and expansion of steel is projected to take our annual production to 230 million tons by 2030. In this two-episode series, our team travels to the Bukaro steel plant in the state of Jharkhand to see firsthand how iron ore is converted to steel and its many by-products. When Bukaro started production in 1973, it was hailed as the country's first Swadeshi steel plant. Bukaro is the fourth integrated steel plant and is part of the Steel Authority of India Limited or SAIL which is a Maharatna and one of India's largest steel companies. Bukaro is now on mission mode to become a one-stop shop for world-class flat steel in India. The plant is also undergoing modernization to increase the liquid steel production capacity along with fresh rolling and coating facilities. All these are part of India's Atma Nirbhar Bharat mission. This and much more on this exciting episode of Science for a Self-Reliant India, only on India Science.